the SFAR. This is the third time I'm out shooting it. Third video I made on it. I put the gas setting to gas setting 2 and I want to see how this will perform. I've got uh, three different kinds of ammo. I'm going to start off with the, uh, the regular ball ammo. This is the Winchester white box. 149 grain, full metal jacket. I'm then going to go to the 308, 147 grain. This is full metal jacket. And then uh, lastly, I'm going to move to 165 grain. This is the Hornaday uh, interlock. This is primarily what I'm going to be using to hunt with. So ultimately, this is what I want to make sure I'm zeroed in on. Enough talking, let's get to shooting. Setting two. Then lock back. There's 10. Should have stayed back, but it didn't. Not too bad. Let's walk up there and see where I'm shooting. Hard to see this on uh, just through the magnifier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not too bad. I mean, that's a basketball sized target. Well, I forgot my uh, headset. It's not my headset, my earplugs. I'm using these cheap foam ones. This is not the gun to be using cheap ear protection on. Pretty loud. So, what we're going with here is the 308 uh, 147 grain PMCs. I only got maybe 140 rounds through it, 130, 140 before that 10. Uh, so it's not, I didn't hit the 200 mark to switch to setting two. Just been uh, anxious to see how it does on setting two and let everybody else know. So here's 10 of the 308, uh, same target. Lock back there. I'd say the 308 uh, ran great. Let's go see how it looks now. One, two, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Look at that. Yeah, all uh, all right there. Happy with that. Let's try the 165 green now. Now I'm going to try the uh, 165 green. 10 rounds of this. Looks like I was shooting a hair to the right. So I think I'm actually going to move my EOTech over a few clicks. See if that can dial me in directly uh, with the windage.
Okay, well that one didn't stay open either, but it did cycle all 10. Well, I'm sure once I get more rounds through it, that spring will loosen up and uh, it'll stay open more. Oh yeah, not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's try ten more. I'm gonna take it one click back to the right. All right. So 100% cycling on gas setting two so far. Fire in the hole. Ten more 165s. lock open. I had one failure. One failure to load. Um, well, I've gotten 40 rounds through it just now. Had one failure to load on second two. So that means I am just about, just under 200 rounds through it. I pre prematurely went to setting two, but I'm putting it through the ring here. So, let's go back and try 10 more. 147, 308. All right, I'll take the safety off. back to ball ammo now. This is the uh, NATO 762. This is the last of my 60. So here's 10 more of the ball ammo. Oh. One failure to load on setting two. So that's three so far out of the 60. Um, let's try this again. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have lubed it up. 
wonder if there's an issue with that. Look at that. Well, that's the, uh, that's the ball handle. Try one more. I might have to go back to setting three, which to me, I don't care what setting I'm on, as long as it's cycling. I don't need to force it on setting two if it's not going to cycle on setting two. Maybe after a few hundred, it'll be uh, loosened up enough where you know, setting two is where you need to be at. But uh, I'm fine going back to setting three if ultimately it's going to be running flawlessly. Probably, probably load one in there, huh? Let's try that a second. Alright, she locked back. Well, look at that. I'm actually thoroughly impressed with the grouping there. Uh, look at that, so there's 30. All 30 are in there, and uh, for uh, 165 308s, 147 308s, and then 149 uh, 762. I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm, look at that. I mean, granted, I only got a, a three, power magnification on that EOTech but uh, yeah I'm, I'm severely happy with that. Today, in today's conclusion I did run into a few hiccups on setting two. Um, one thing I noticed after I grabbed my brass is this 762 is just covered in uh, soot. Um, my hands are completely black. You can see the Hornet A308 was very clean burning. The uh, 762 was, was pretty, uh, pretty dirty. Here's uh, two of the casings there compared to my 165 Hornet A. Um, I mean, ultimately, I'm going to end up finding one brand of ammo, one particular uh, grain and load that I'm, I'm going to just stick with. Um, trying to really just get out here, break it in, and do some experimenting. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button.